How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ethan and today we are reviewing Noel Diesel's No Bake Protein Cookies. Diesel? 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 I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Anyways, no bake, no oven necessary, no microwave necessary. It does need to get stirred up on a pot, so there's that, you need that. But the ingredients list is real simple. I think I should already have it around, so let's get into it. All right, for this recipe, you will need some protein powder, Milk of choice, I'm using almond. Oats, I'm gonna go old fashioned, rolled. What I usually use for no bake cookies. We're gonna go for some peanut butter. I'm gonna use peanut butter powder and then I'm gonna make it into peanut butter. A low calorie syrup, some cocoa powder, some vanilla extract, I'm using imitation, and then some salt. He didn't specify what kind of salt, so I'm assuming iodized just due to the fact that there isn't a lot of it. In this video, he was talking about how you need to separate these, not separate these, sorry, that you need to put one, why do I keep doing this? All right, okay, so for his, in his video, he said that we need to put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. And he said, we, I know you won't, but if you want good cookies, you gotta put them in the fridge for 10 minutes. I'm gonna ignore that in this batch over here these ones are not gonna go in the fridge for 10 minutes. These ones are gonna get formed as soon as they're cool enough to. They're both gonna get cooled. These ones are gonna go right into the freezer. These ones are gonna sit in the fridge for 10 minutes, then they're gonna get formed. And then if I can manage to remember which one was which, we'll also let you know if it's worth doing that or not. Is that 10 minutes actually worth it? My guess is no. I will say though, these smell very good. Oh, and I'm making a mess again. Well, we can try it out. It's hot too, isn't that fun? I'm gonna eat this right now and we're gonna see what it tastes like. It looks like the inside of it, it just looks like a no-bake cookie. Okay, so we just finished, well, we didn't finish anything. We put them in the bowls. And as I said, I wanna try some of this just plain. So, we got this, this goop. It should hopefully stay. I'm more so doing this to catch it. All right. So, I have some on my face now, don't I? I do. Okay, anyways, we'll live with it. So there's a bit here. It, it doesn't quite smell like a no-bake cookie and I don't think it's gonna taste as good as a no-bake cookie, mostly due to the fact that we didn't put a bunch of sugar and garbage in it, but let's try it anyway and we'll see how it is. I assume that sugar is gonna help a lot. I just taste the oat, the cocoa powder. Maybe that protein powder in there. I assume it's gonna taste exactly like that once it's cold too. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, it tastes a lot like a lot of everything else we're kind of eating. You just really can't get around that protein taste. The tasty protein power bounties that we made, if you want to put a video of that here or something like that, it, it was good. It was good and it didn't have that protein taste. They did have that very banana taste though. The beans, you know, didn't hide that well and they, their macros weren't that great. And that was the closest thing we had that wasn't just a very protein forward taste. He used a different brand, he used Rise Protein Powder. You know, maybe you could say that the Rise Protein Powder is a lot better, but I don't think that this is, I mean, it's not gonna taste any different in my opinion. Whether we immediately freeze it, or if we put it in the fridge for 10 minutes and freeze it, or if we do this, or do that, it's, they're all gonna kinda taste the same, I mean, I could tell if there's oats in it, but I mean, if you put the rest of that and you gave it, you know, a cake texture like we've had before, the protein brownies, it, it just, they all kind of taste the same. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, let's, we'll put one in the fridge, one in the freezer, 10 minutes each, and then we'll take the one from the fridge out, we'll form that then, and then we'll put it in the freezer, and then we'll see what the difference. Actually, 
Should we freeze it or should we just see if it like forms? Because in regular no bake cookies, do you actually put them in the fridge? I'll look it up. Let me know. And then we'll do that. Okay. Okay. See you back. See you back. Susan. Okay. I don't know a proper way to do this without making a mess. So we're going to. We have a spoon here. I have so much cleaning to do already. It's on me. It's on me. All right. We're going to use a knife. You probably should use a spoon, but I feel like this will somehow be less messy. Ready? I don't want big cookies. What do I want? What kind of size cookies should we go for? Let's make a fool out of this. Yeah, fours are good enough for this. So, could I work on forming a little bit more? Yeah, but you know, no big cookies. I'm not really having a great fun. This puts a little quick, except that way, you know? Is that just an excuse? Yeah, of course it is. You know, I'm not an excuse. That's. I'm still using it. Still gonna use it. Yeah, we'll bring it up a little bit. I don't do that. You do that. Okay. What's on? Put it in the fridge. Fridge, freezer, freezer, freezer. Yeah. It's the next day. So we got two plates here. I ate one. First time tasting it. All right, so these are the ones that we did not uh, put them in the fridge for 10 minutes before freezing. And then these are the ones that we did. They don't look any different. And considering the fact that now it's the next day, they both froze overnight and then I, they thawed out this morning. I can't imagine that these are gonna be literally any different, but we'll go ahead and try these. Yeah, so another thing is that they're sticky. I don't like that. I was hoping that they wouldn't be like that, but they are. All right, so we're gonna give a bite now. This one is the one that we did not wait on. I mean, it's holding pretty well though. It just looks like a no-bake cookie. It doesn't exactly, I don't know what I did different from Noel in his video, but his looked more, you can find like a picture or a small clip of it. And you don't. It looked a lot more like a thick, not really thick, it was very thin. The his was very uniform, it didn't, it held its shape. And this is very bendy, kind of like a mush. Yeah, I mean, it has that very protein forward taste to it. And I am concerned that it's my protein I use in this one, because I use an isolate. You can't taste all the other ingredients in there though. I also feel like I've eaten like a cup of cocoa powder in the past month. All right, so that one was the one that was rushed. I mean, this is set in the temp, set 10 minutes in the fridge, then we formed it, then froze it. Which holds about the same. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not really tasting any difference. If you're interested in no bakes and you want to try protein no bake, understanding what the calories, macros, and whatnot are, then maybe give it a go. But otherwise, yeah, they're definitely not gonna replace your regular no bakes, but. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave it down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. They're very thick.